taste good. Yes, Lord. Thank you, 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 Lord. Thank you,
and I had not obeyed, I was constantly putting off for tomorrow what I should have done today. And I said, Lord Jesus, if you just forgive me for not obeying, you know how you make excuses why you can't do this and why you can't do that. But I thank the Lord because when I start obeying the Lord and what he asked me to do, my legs have not been swelling. Man. My feet are not swelling. Right. I praise and I thank the Lord. I've been feeling better than I felt. Hallelujah. And months. And I praise and I thank the Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus. How uh, he gave me to say this young lady. I had took a sick attack at work uh, back some months ago. And she saved. And I said, come on, princess. I said, and pray with me. And she, I had this little pamphlet. And it said, I forbid Satan to operate in my body with sickness, disease, or pain. All glory to God in Jesus' name. And every time, hallelujah, Jesus, the adversary would bring a pain or whatever to my body, I would repeat it over and over and over again. And I said, Lord, I, in the name of Jesus, I forbid Satan to operate in my body with any sickness, disease, or pain. I don't feel that I have to go to a hospital. I don't feel that I have to run to the doctor because Jesus is my doctor. He is my all. And I come to the Lord and I said, Lord, I'm your child. What you do unto me, it shall be done. And you know, saints, I'm just feeling good in my mind, in my legs. One day I was in the bathroom and I was just sitting there. Me and Bob was talking, he was standing in the door. And I got up, when I got up to turn, I just fell, just fell in the floor. Bob, it was kind of come over because he said, whoa, you know. But hallelujah, Jesus. The Lord never allowed me to break a hip, a wrist. I never broke a bone Man. or anything. I just thank God for his protection. Yes. How through my disobedience for not obeying him at the time that he given me to do what he would have me to do. I said, because Lord, if I had done what you had asked me to do, it would have been over with. The sickness wouldn't have been there. It wouldn't have been anything. Man. And you know, saints of God, hallelujah, Jesus. The adversary come to accuse. He even would tell me, oh, you just want to do that because it's the so and so did it. But that wasn't the issue. Yeah. The Lord told me to do it. Man. And I should have obeyed it. And I praise and I thank the Lord because I feel good in my body. Man. I feel good in my body yeah. from my head to my toes. Oh, right. Hallelujah. Yeah. Jesus, I feel great. Hallelujah. Yeah. Jesus. And I just thank the Lord, hallelujah, when I'm on my job, I'm sitting down most of the time. And people greet us are not to sit down unless they have a, a what you call in a, a written excuse from their doctor and they file. At 12 o'clock, I pull me a chair up. I sit by the door, my customers come in. They say, you don't have to get up, Miss Alberta. We'll come to you. You know, the Lord is my all yeah. and all. Yeah. He will make you. And I just give God the glory, and I am thanking God, hallelujah, Jesus, because in my natural body, along with my spiritual man, I feel great in the Amen. Lord. Amen. 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 I give honor to the Lord today, the head of my life. Mm -hmm. And I'm thanking and praising the Lord you know, for my heavenly strength yeah. and for my deliverance. You know, I, I know I hadn't been here because the devil had spanked my body. Man. And I had got up uh, Sunday morning and I was feeling really good. And I was coming to church. And the devil uh, hit my body and knocked me back down and I, I couldn't even drive or move. Man. But 
pray, but you know, I know that's the devil. The devil is not gonna win. Man. Right. And you know, um, uh, I just, you know, gave it in the hands of the Lord. Man. Amen. That's why I wasn't here. Right. If for two weeks the devil had me going, but you know, the devil is a lot. Man. And he is a father of it. Right. You know, I, 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 I praise the Lord and I bound Satan, and I know that 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 Satan trying to, you know, hit my body, trying to knock me back, but he is a lot. But I'm going on anyway. You know, and, and I had ended up going up to the emergency room on uh, Monday morning because my blood pressure was up so high. So I couldn't, you know, have blind. Man. I couldn't see. But you know, God, he just got that, 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 that storm for me. Man. Me on, on up there. Man. And my blood pressure was 200 something. God. And, and I had to stay up there, you know, all day. But Satan still is a lot. Man. Man. You know, when I woke up, my blood pressure was up real high. When I got up, you know, to get up, I fell right back down. And, and my, my blood pressure had shot up overnight. But you know, God know all things. Yes, it does. We don't know nothing, but, but God knows. And you know, we don't know the time and our hour when our time comes with Jesus. Right. Though. But I put it all in the hand of the Lord. Yeah. And I just wanted to sing this song because, you know, it's supposed to ask me to sing. Uh, we don't even know when our last song is. That's right. You know, we're going to sing our last song. And I always thank you, you know, obey the Lord. By the grave of the Lord. I'm And I wish I had a went on. 
And I thought about that. When the devil hit me, I thought about that. I said, no, I'm opinion is better than sacrifice. I said, I wish I had a sacrifice. I won't be no opinion to God. God told me, I told you, God told me what to teach about. Praise God. I wish I had a praise God. But now sometimes God bring those things back to you. You start obeying God. Sometimes sickness because of disobedience. Praise God. That's you. I mean, you know, a lot of people don't want to give up and say, that's, that's true. you. That's, that's right. True. I was sick because I disobeyed obey God. Praise God. Sometimes we want it is God. It is God. Praise God. But sometimes they go on. Sometimes we don't know God. No, I'm, I'm trying to get to know the mind of God. Man. I am. I ask Lord everything. He's like, Lord, let me know your mind. Praise God. I think we like it because we don't know the man of God. Man. I think that when the devil's fighting us, sometimes we think that we know the man of God. Man of God, we don't really know. Praise God. Then we should try to see where it's God or not. Man. And see where it's uh, God. Praise God. So I'm going to cut that up. Praise God. I didn't talk about what Sister Carter said. Man. I think about me a lot. It's hallelujah. I'm not trying to put it on nobody. What calls or nothing. Man. Praise God. All I can say is, you might disobey. Man. Call me. That's right. Praise God. Because I'm trying to get to heaven. Man. Praise God. I am. I'm trying to be honest with God. Amen. Hallelujah. That's right. I'm trying to have that real love and that mercy of God. And we got to have it. No matter what we go through, Man. we got to have that mercy of God. Because when time comes, we're going to want the Lord to mercy. That's have right. mercy on us. That's Praise right. God. Hallelujah. So come on and give the Lord a good hand. Clap your hands. Get another song. Praise God. Appreciate those people that are here. And we roll for another song. Get back for touch by you. Come on.
keep this alive in heaven. Yeah. Hallelujah. My feet get more light. I pray, God, for I got sick. That's all right. Hallelujah. Go ahead, now I pray, God. Praise I appreciate the Lord. Man. Yeah. I'm going to dance in the body of That's right. Hallelujah. Praise Hallelujah. Dancing by myself. Dancing by myself. That's right. Hallelujah. I'm going to dance the by myself. That's right. Hallelujah. I need no help. Did I need no help? Hallelujah. Come on, dear. I couldn't dance. Man. Wishing I would dance. I was still other folks standing up there. I said, Lord, I'm going to dance again. Amen. And I have a guy back. Come on, your Lord. Yeah. You won't miss these things. Hallelujah. I'll tell you ain't got it. Hallelujah. As long as you got them hands, you don't miss Amen. the hands. But when you got them hands, you miss the hands. Hallelujah. Praise God. Come on, your Lord. Hallelujah. I love you. Hallelujah, you may as well cuss by the same. Praise God. Don't let the devil keep you from dancing. I let you were dancing before dance now. Yes, Praise God. I'm about what people think. Man. Hallelujah. That's right. My dad needs six of you. These diseases. Hallelujah. Praise God. I just want to thank you. Just thank you for spending your day with you all again. Like I forget, y'all talking about the sickness, those bells, the big thing. You know, try to make everybody sick. Right. Amen. Well, I feel safe. I have a good one in the band, but I go on over there now. Man. I knew it was the devil, and I said, now the Lord don't have to be sick yet. What's going on? I go his head on, I see the little bell. Man. Thanks, God. I don't look to have the good days no more. I just look for the Lord to let me keep going. Yeah. Get my age, I tell you, I'm looking to feel a little jaded. Man. But I don't want to get too jaded. Man. I want to go. Man. I want nice to go, you know. Man. I just told the Lord, I said, don't let me get so I can't go. I said, That's right. do, just take me on. Man. To heaven. Yes, Lord. Not to the devil. That's right. You know, I was to go to heaven, but I died. Man. I, I didn't see enough down here. Man. I want to go where it's good at. That's right. I'm like this, I don't mind dying. All right, now, praise But him. that is all. That's right. I don't want to go to hell. Man. But I want to go to heaven. That's right. You know, if I figured I'd go to heaven, I'd be ready to go now. Man. But I ain't ready yet. Man. <laughs> I think I got to pray a little bit more. Man. I just thank God for everything to pray as long as he has. I'm 78 years old. I thank you for it too. Yes, Lord. I'm going to thank you a little bit. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. I'm going to 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 thank you, Jesus.
sure it's just the Easton and Bowery coming in. Thank you, God. Appreciate you, Lord. Praise God. I want to tell everybody to stay. Appreciate all the testimony. They're going with the glory of God. Praise God. I appreciate everybody. Y'all be praying for Brother and Sister Durant. They out of town. They went to Brother Durant lost his son, his baby son. Praise God. Hallelujah. Y'all be praying for him. We're praying for her too. We're praying for the family. Praise God. We're praying for my sister. We're praying, praying for everybody. Praise God. Praise God. We need prayer. We need to pray for one another. Praise God. Come and give a little good hand, Claire. We're going to tell you to look like musicians. We're going to tell you to look at us. Father, thank you. I appreciate you, God, today. I thank you for Lord blessing us again to be here. It's such a blessing to be here, God. Thank you for your protection. And thank you for your provision, Lord, that you've given us, Lord. It ain't safe to walk out from under your protection in a day like this. We hear all the news all the time, God, about things that have happened to folks, Lord. It's look like they're going to mind their own business, God, but it's people getting shot head and things that happen. Jesus, thank you. Today, Lord, for touching my mind and let me be here today. Lord, this may sustain me tomorrow, next week. It's running field. I told my wife, I said, today is the day I could just crawl in the bed and just stay there. But the Lord, you give me my mind to press my way, and I thank you for it. Told us a book of remembrance. Things were being written in the book of remembrance. You're gonna open that book one day. That book of remembrance. Thank you, Holy God, for putting this press in us, putting this strive in us, Lord, to cause us to just hold us up, Jesus. God, hold your peoples up, Lord. Those that are pressing, those that are fighting the way and striving, hold them up, God. I'm asking in Jesus' name. Lord, we can do nothing without you. And I pray for my brothers and sisters, Lord, that you give them your strength and help them somewhere else. Break that old spirit off of God that's hindering them. That God, you said, Lord, bless them. Lay aside every way in the sin that's beset us. Run the pace of God, you told us to strive, Lord, to enter in, be the soul. You told us there's a reward for them that love your appearance, for them that fight, them that keep the faith, them that finish their course. There's a crown of righteousness laid up for them, God. And I'm asking you, Jesus, we don't want this corruptible crown here. We don't want this incorruptible crown. But the crown that you have for us. And I'm asking you, Jesus, Lord, don't let us lose our crown. Don't let us lose our reward. But help us, Jesus, to clean. Put that in us, Lord. All our brothers and sisters, put that in them, God. Call them to just strive and fight. We missed yesterday, Lord. We got to develop a, Lord, a, a spirit to fight. Yes, Lord, help us. Help in Jesus' name today, Lord. Thank you. Look upon the ministers, the handmaids, and the servants, and the pastors, and give them strength, Lord. And I pray, put your life in us, put your word in us, Lord. Let your voice go out to your people, Lord. I pray. Move for the bound, the drug addict, the alcoholic, the whore, mama, the whore, the thief, the thug, God, all move. You got people out there, Lord, that are caught up in these things. And I'm asking you, Jesus, Lord, you said that you was going to go to the highways and hedges and you're going to go to the bound. You said the holler going to beat a lot of your people's in, God. Mighty Lord, reach out to the lost. And Touch the mind, Father. Give them holy, righteous glory. Bring them in, God. I believe they'll come in. They'll come in running. They'll come in. They're going to live for you. Don't let another take my place. I'm asking. Let me stay on the battlefield, God. Let me hang here, Lord. Let me be instant in season and out of season. 
I pray, Lord, don't let another take my seat. I'm asking in Jesus' name, Lord. There are going to be a lot of folks that are going to lose their place. Let it not be so with me, Lord. I lose my place in the kingdom of God. Always smile up on me, Lord. And give me give me that motivation and give me that strength, God, to, Lord, to go on in the name of Jesus. And bless these that are gathered here today, Lord. Rebuke every devourer in the name of Jesus Christ that rises up against them. I pray. And we are thank you. Give us others today to speak. Let us speak by your mind and by your word, God, in Jesus' name. Be it so, Lord. And I thank you. Give him a hand. Praise, will you? This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine.
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Master. I appreciate the praise. Thank you, Father. Man. I do. Oh, God. Oh, God. I feel like you're tired, man. Yeah. Man, I'm going to be going to heaven. He said they don't have nothing but a mind to praise God. Yes. You know? I said, that's in heaven, but I made it down here. Y'all just give us some samples. That's right. The only thing about it there, Brother Pox, they ain't going to be no titans. No stopping. That's right. Folks ain't going to get tired. They ain't going to be tired. Yeah. Praising God too. That's the one blessed thing about it, Brother Banks. You don't get tired. Your body ain't going to give out. Your body has all the strength that it needs. God's going to have this body glorified and prepared, and it ain't going to get tired. Thank you, Jesus. I appreciate the Lord. I appreciate His mercy and His grace. You know, we minister to the tears of His grace. That He bestowed one with in vain. Thank you, Lord. Man, the preacher yesterday, I went by the thing I said. Thank you, Father. Mighty God. Lord of Jesus, not for service. He cried out himself, My God, my God, why have thou forsaken me? Sometimes we get in such a predicament, we thank God that left us. Let me tell you something, Sister Rose, he ain't left us. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We got to go about Lawrence and Brother Frank, we got to fight. Amen. Man, this devil is doing everything he can right now to discourage God's people. Amen. Everything he can do, he's doing it to discourage God's people. I'm telling you. Amen. We are winners. Oh, yes, Lord. We're winners. We're not losers. We're winners. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes. Thank you. I believe that. If I, if I ain't got nothing to have nothing to believe in, then. I may well just throw in the towel. I got to believe that we overcome them. And I got to believe that we got the victory. Oh, yes. You know? Because of, if I don't, then I may well throw in the towels. You don't see nothing else. Nothing else to hope. There's anything going on, they just got to go. Oh, oh. I'll give off the next time. <laughs> right, you surrounded by a power of witnesses. Man. Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, Father. <laughs> but the devil is zeroed in on us. Oh, you know? And some folks are yielding to him. Some folks is a, is a, listen to the enemy. You can't listen to the devil. That's right. Amen. You got to know who you are. It don't make no difference because you're down. It don't make no difference because you're broke. It don't make no difference because you're going through stuff. You got to know who you are. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, God. Thank God. You got to. Lord, I thank you. We measure by what we appear to be, brother. Thanks. Bible from Jesus gonna be gonna be as he is. We're gonna see him as he is. Gonna be as he is. So stop. All the impurities gonna some kind of way God's gonna bring them all. But we gotta know who we are. We gotta I tell you this ain't for the fictitious and this ain't for God's gonna uh, all God's gonna try all that stuff. This is for the real children of God. These are the ones that have their trials and tests and go through it, hanging there with God, you know. This ain't for the one that's on the mountaintop every time you see them. Let me tell you, you see somebody on the mountaintop every time you see them, that's fictitious. You know, you ain't riding a mountain every time. You know, every time you see them, you just got so much joy, so much excitement, so much. Uh, let me tell you something. You might need to go back and see because you got you, you to them fight. And the devil's trying to make you doubt the word of God. Amen. You got to have it in your heart, you know. Amen. Sometimes I told you that you got to fight. Sometimes you just got to wrestle with God. Oh, yeah. Wrestle with the devil. What God, what God works says right. today. God said, said, by his stripe you heal. Right. Mean nothing with the devil. You got to wrestle with it. You got to fight with it. Amen. 
And that's one script all of us have to fight with. Amen. You know, thank God. But God done told us that we redeemed. Ain't it? And that's his word. He says, his word ever said him. You just sit around and just accept that script and don't fight. You see what's going to happen to you. You got to fight. Amen. That's right. You got to work with that scripture. God said, you're blessed. You got to work with it. A lot of folks don't work, but I'm telling you, you sit around waiting. Yeah. I told you that Jesus bowed in the garden. Yeah. Didn't he? Yeah. He bowed to, 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 to sweat came off of him like great drops of blood. Yeah. Him being the son of God. Him yeah. being the word made of flesh. Yeah. He bowed. I'm telling you, bro, we we in a battle. Oh, no. The real people of God is going to go through stuff. You're going to shed some tears sometime, and everything ain't going to be hawking glory for you. The devil's going to fight you. Paul's when all hope are gone, that we be saved. Paul's and now I'm looking now with my natural eyes, and I can't see no deliverance. No deliverance. I don't see no way out of this situation that I'm in. No deliverance. But he said, I believe God. Some yeah. angels stood by me. And this is what we look at. We got, but you got to fight. Amen. And everything is, you know, going. You know, God said he's going to deliver my balls. They're they trying to offer one of them 25 years. My, my sons, I ain't taking 25 years. It's just, no. Ain't no, the devil tried to, the devil tell you, so listen to him, man. But God said he's going to deliver. Right. You got to fight. Amen. Got to fight. Amen. I said, I don't accept that. Lord. You had to stand up and just fight for a brother. You know? And Paul's all hope is gone that we should be saved. In our situation, sometimes now, everywhere we look, there's no deliverance. You can't see nothing with your eyes. You can't see no help nowhere. You can't see no strength nowhere. But you got to believe God. You got to get in that fight because this devil going to fight you. It calls you to not to believe God's word. You have to get in there and fight against this devil. Amen. Thank God, this ain't no easy way, sister brothers. That Christians that are living the easy life now, thank God, they ain't no Christians. Amen. This devil's coming up with everything out of the pits of hell. And he's warring against people of God. trying to make him turn back, you know? But thank God we got to be anchored in our hearts. Sister, you got to not think it's strange. You got to, sister. You see, folks all going to have to go luck and man, nothing ever going on in them. They never had no battle, nothing like that. Oh, the Lord just blessed. We confess that the Lord is blessed. I'll tell you, sometimes your pillow get wet. Sometimes it look like things just ain't working out for you. Sometimes it look like you're gonna miss tomorrow. It just look like sometimes the man that look at you, that this just ain't God's will, and you just missed it. They got you just wasting your time. This is man, he tried to show you back in the Bible. That I was just reading in the Bible. Listen, man, that, that ain't for you. And you gotta get in that fight. The Bible we gotta take it by force. Thank God, take your deliverance by force. Yeah. Take your healing by force. Yeah. Man, take what you take it by force. Sister Bruce, they lay it down and we can't lay down. Yeah. Thank God, we are going to be honest Christians, Sister Cosby. We're going to be purified Christians. Thank God. When God get the man, we're going to have we're going to have this thing honestly. Yes. Yeah. But we're going to be done. been through the fire. Amen. We're going to know what it means to suffer. We're going to know what it means to go through. We're going to know what it, some people don't know what it is to go through. They don't know what it is to suffer. We're going to know what it is to suffer. We're going to know what it is to go through. We're going to know what it is to do with that. We're going to know what it is to be on the mountaintop and be in the valley. Amen. Can God get through with us? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Hey, oh, yeah. A lot of churches don't teach like this. They don't talk like this. I bet you turn your television on, you don't, you don't find others that got to talk today. Go home and turn your TV on. You know? Most of it's about blessings and stuff. Talk about all this blessing stuff, and they, they don't want to live in a $10 million house and ride in these Jaguars and Limolinas and all this stuff. Wearing $3,000 suits and 
Après, on va aller en Chine. Mais tu es prêt à aller dans le trou. Mais, tu sais, il te dit, il veut que tu sois wealthy. Le docteur ne dit jamais que tu veux être wealthy. Il dit que je vais supplier tes besoins. According to his riches and glory. And he blesses his whole sister. But the Bible tells us what seat she put first. And anything else is added on. Let me say. And not the other man be added unto you. But should God have got to get ready and prepare? Sometimes you like knowing out. No, I don't like knowing out. I do. We laughed yesterday. I, 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 I my bed didn't have a leg on it. I just cut me a piece of landscape and timber and made me a leg, sister. And slip on it. I ain't got it now. Welcome. Amen. Got a decent leg now since we bought that trailer. Amen. But, man, I. I'm a couple of things. You know? You're gonna go through some things. You're gonna do it down some things. You know? And you get ready for that. May God learn how to suffer. The Bible says, somebody, brother, don't me teach me how to suffer. The Bible says, learn how to suffer. Amen. But don't. But he said, he did that suffer in the flesh has ceased from sin. Amen. And that's Bible. He that has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin. I had him laugh yesterday, Mama. You weren't here about But we laughed for a while yesterday, too. I said, God ain't saying you go through things. We're talking about kids and stuff like that. And I know they have been talking about the lady talking to kids. I told my mom, trying to give us a hat and make us wear the suit. I said, one of we all screwed up, man. God just blessed us so to keep our mind intact. Amen. Boy, put that hat on where it's cool. Ain't that wrong that hat you? God had mercy on our soul, man. We, we were twisted mad at everything else, too. Going down the road, mama had on you. God. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Hey, Lord. Back then, folks done that, you know. They got you there. Not my stuff back then, they don't. Do that, man. She be lost us shoes in the cotton there. We just we go to town at night to something, man. I just put some grease on my foot. Then man, we even rode town bad feet, man. No shoes. Grease <laughs> my grease my foot up, man. Lost my shoes in the cotton field, couldn't find them. Then like the day, you know, you don't get five, six pairs of shoes. Then you got two pairs of shoes. You got a pair of high top with them hooks on them. You got a pair of dress shoes. Right. You know, a year. That, that's 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 it. And if they looked pretty good after years, if you didn't get another pair, you just wore them on out. And then you put a piece of paper in the bottom of it. With it. And I went to school with a piece of paper in the bottom of my shoe a lot of time. And wore a, wore a hole in them in the bottom. You just take your piece of cardboard in and keep the foot from your way. Amen. They'll do that nowadays, you know. Man, kids wouldn't think wearing this stuff. Amen. If they can do anything about it. They don't do things today like they used to. That's a God you help us, but we got to learn how to. Right, we want everything. We want to suffer for. We don't want to pay the price. We don't want to go through for. I tell you, we're going to go through. But there's one thing about Jesus, He ain't leaving us alone. He ain't leaving us alone. Ain't God. You think it's strange, everything's up. We go through some stuff. Yeah. Your husband don't act right, he don't show up, don't come home. Who knows what we think is strange? I'm living for God. Now he ain't living for God. What do you think is strange? They don't get advice right, so of that. He ain't getting who? Solo, Sarah, Tabitha, Olivia. He ain't getting you. I mean, you act up. Right, you don't care. 
You get into a, if he can call a man, get a four bands out of whack, then that's what the devil going to do. He's, he's been by our soul. Amen. Brother Frank. And he's doing everything that goes out of the will of God. But you know what? We got to somewhere, man, good about loins and, and tell the devil, listen to them, I'm fighting you. Amen. So I'm fighting you today. Amen. But you ain't got me today, but I'm fighting you today. I'm not laying down today. I'm not, you, you're not going to hit me and I'm going to take off, so I'm fighting you today. Amen. Amen. And fight this devil, folks. Yes. Amen. Man, you gotta know where they, if you have to do it out, fight the devil in me. Don't feel like you're left alone right. and cheating on living because you ain't got, thank God I told them yesterday, your utility bill ain't paid, thank God your rent ain't paid, thank God you may not have a little bit in the refrigerator. Don't feel like you're forsaken, thank God, work in God. Yeah. Amen. I said, bro, bro, but I'll be hungry. <laughs> God help us. Amen. Yes, He will. Amen. Yes, He will. I'll tell you what you do when you get some money. Buy your big old job peanut butter. Amen. That's your peanut butter. Buy some peanut butter and stuff like that that, that you can eat on a long time. Amen. Amen. When you get home, you can go in there and snack on that stuff, you know? That's right. That's right. Amen now. Pork and beans, something cheap. Yeah, Lord. Stock up on some pork and beans. Amen. You get home up there, tell you real good. Oh, yes, you will. Yes, you will. Amen. I'm telling you, folks, when get home, they ain't got to You can buy your big old jar, a couple big jars of peanut butter or something yes, like that, you know, that'll, that, that'll last Amen. a while, you know? Amen, now. You get home, you have you something to eat on. Amen. We do. Peanut butter lot. Amen now. That's true now. But the Lord had to us. He had to let us. God's got a chosen people. Are you listening? Yeah. The Bible says they uh, 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 in uh, uh, Hebrew, they, they wander through in sheep skin and goat skins. Amen. In caves and in, in, in the den. Mountain, destitute. He said, in the world, what the world of them. And yet they went for some. They was persecuted by the Satan. And the world wasn't worthy of them. And these folks that look like they had been for some back out, hiding in caves and in dens and wearing goat skins and sheep skins and Caves and all this stuff, and yet the Bible said the world didn't deserve it. The world wasn't worthy of it. God didn't forsook them, man. He was right there with them. Amen. Gave them a good peace of mind, man. While they were running in caves and walking in skin, they had a peace of mind. Amen. They was content, sister. sister. Nah. Amen. Thank God we got to stop looking at our neighbors and being in content. Amen. Amen. Man. You know? My neighbor told my wife, make that joke about you a drive. Talk about me, you'll call me a joke. <laughs> now, we had a, didn't have to do it. I wasn't wild for a drive, we just didn't fool with you. Know? We got a clothesline, now they got five lines on the <laughs> drive. We got about five, ten packs of uh, clothespins. <laughs> Fresh air. And I'm used, I'm washing hang out clothes. I ain't just like some farmers to do it. I'm washing hang out myself. Amen now. But we can't look at our neighbors and stuff like that. And you don't know what they've got. You don't know what's in their bank. Man, they may be overflowing and yours ain't overflowing. You can't go to do what they do. Amen. They may have plenty of money in the bank. They can go and do what they want to do. I guess they want to retire. They get the time, but I couldn't. And I wouldn't fix it. Amen. Amen. But we, we ask the children of God. This, this, this. You can't look at other folks and see what other folks got. And then try to do that. Man, we got to be content. Amen. I stopped by Sister Cotter's house the other day. I guess you don't mind because all of us are playing with bags. 
I looked up on the porch and up on the porch you needed fixing. Ooh, it's going bad. I said, I said, you need to work on your house too. And she said, yep. I said, I do too. I thought about yours. I looked around yours. I said, she need to work on hers. I said, I'll tell you this cause it. You know, a lot of stuff we need, but you know what? And he's getting frustrated because she ain't got it and can't do it. Thank God you ask God, does God just be with me help me? When you get ready to fix everything, you fix everything. Right. Through now. Right. Oh, yes. You know. And that ain't embarrassing. Somebody said, no, don't be talking no. about that. ain't embarrassing. No, like, you you look at your house and you go outside. Yeah. You, yeah. Know. you know what I need? Woods and windows yeah. and stuff like that.
Don't let your neighbor look down on you. Yeah, right it. now, amen. I preach it. Tell it. Tell it. Yes. Amen. 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 He sang that song now. Uh, I fell into a burning ring of fire. <laughs> Went down, down, down. <laughs> and it burning, burning, burning. The ring of fire. I bet he sang that song now. It's burning, burning, burning. <laughs> 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 they say he up there. <laughs> This is all the old folks up there that promoted sin and evil. They up there. Sammy Davis and all of them. They up there in heaven. They in heaven now. But them folks like that most didn't make it. You know? I, I was looking. And then Oprah Winfrey, you know, she's a billionaire. A billionaire. Not a millionaire, a billionaire. Amen. She's a billionaire. She made the Forbes list last year, sometime this year. A billionaire. And when she died, she don't even want this stuff. This little Snoop. Somebody tell my son, tell my Snoop Dogg, we're gonna. He got on some kind of a. Some kind of show we have, I'd be making fun of folks, something like this. And she got to win, they, they, she gonna, they gonna do her. She called them, don't you do it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy you out. You do it, I'm gonna buy, you, buy your thing out of money. If you play that, and he didn't play it. Cause he know she got the money to buy him out and put him in the band, she got enough influence. But she got Trace on this earth. I don't know what she's doing, but God, she probably could be doing a whole lot, man, with, with being her, because she could be. But listen, we, we're going to go through stuff. Now, I'm just talking to you. I'm going to give that a close out. God, we're going to praise the Lord, and I'm talking, so I'm not going to minister on you while I just to tell you to count on all joy when you fall into the temptation. Amen, now. Amen. Somebody said, how can I do that, brother? Do it. Do it. God give you something to do. Yes, he does. So, God, you know, we get our eyes off the world and off the people. Oh, we can make Lord. it. Thank you. Jesus. you know that? Amen. We don't make it because we got our eyes on the wrong things and the wrong Amen. folks. Yes, Lord. Oh, yeah. You put your eyes on Jesus, he's always going to encourage you. He will. He'll tell you, Brother Mike, look at this. Oh, look at that place. Look at the book of Jesus. Look at that place. Amen. That's right now. Yeah. <laughs> He'll show you the good thing. Yes, he will. That's right. And you get up in that table, you'd be so proud you had them folks to be. <laughs> you'd be thanking the Lord, boy, you feel like a king getting you know, up in that table because the Lord took you. Yeah, Isn't that the truth? That's right, right now. Good. We keep our eyes on Jesus. Stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Be content what you are. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if you want more, if you got the blessing, ask the Lord and go on. Yeah, right. Thank God and know that the Lord is watching you. Know that the Lord is concerned for you and He's caring for you. And at any time, God can give you your heart desire. Yes, He will. Yes, He will. At any time, brother, 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 and I be digging up there sometimes. Even my yard at home, up there. I be looking for a ruby or diamond or something. I do, I do. Somebody said, well, you just crazy. Well, I may be. 
But you know what? I'll be expecting my shovel to hit something, man, and be a gold nugget or a ruby or a emerald or something. I, I just right. I know because if any instant God, if he put that money in that fish's mouth, yeah. where you think that money come from? God put that money in that fish's mouth. And he told Peter to go there and throw your hook in there. God can put something under your shovel. Is this the kind of God we serve? That's the kind of God we serve? Yes, it is. Amen. Amen. They put the iron in the ordinary. Yes, it is. Yes. And Sister Concha, you can go be, you can go in the house and be looking through your closet and pull something back down there. There's a stack of money. He said, God, don't tell me what God has done. Yes, he can. Yes, he will. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yeah. Just like that, brother Paul, he can, he can see you straight. Just like that, he can get you out of every debt that you owe. Just like that. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Walk in God. Be, be said, Lord, I thank you. You know what I need. Amen. You know what I desire. Yes, Lord. But you haven't saw fit to bless me with it yet, give it. So God will continue. Yes, yes, yes. Man. We continue God before we're going to go through some stuff. And if we ain't content, then we're going to somewhere we're going to get out of God's will. Amen. Right. Right. We want this. We want that. They told a story about this guy. Two of them, they were raising for a treasure. And one guy outran the other guy, and he jumped the little pile. I think my dad never told me that. He had two piles down there, and he jumped a little pile and jumped, got the big pile. And when he uncovered the big pile with a bunch of trash, you know, go jump. <laughs> Some of the little contained the treasure. They got it lost the ring. He didn't lose the ring. He won. Yes, he did. But I'm like, we're not losing the ring. It may look like I had it, but I'm telling you, the word don't have it. No, thank you, Jesus. We got it. Hallelujah. We got it. Yes, we, we got a treasure. Hallelujah. We, we got a, oh, we got a treasure. But all this don't seem like a treasure to me. Don't make no one seem like yes, we got a treasure in yes, Jesus. Yes, we got a gem. Yes, Thank you, Jesus. That can turn on your enemies at any time, brother. Yes. He can turn your enemies. He said, I'll prepare a table for you. Oh, yes, brother. At any time, I've seen yes. God do this too many times, Sister Concha. Yes. He can turn your enemies, the enemy that will get you, he can. Turn the tables on just like that. Amen. Just like this, Sister Angie. God, at any time, He can put your enemies in a state of confusion. He can trouble their minds. Let's be content in God. Y'all be here for not giving to the word of faith. I already got the word finished. But be content. Get prepared. Folks, if we don't prepare to go through stuff, that's one 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 thing. We don't, we don't prepare. We Christians don't be prepared. Amen. Be prepared to go through stuff. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And don't be weary. Hey, thank you. Because we have to go through stuff. Yes, Lord. Thank you. That's what we see us through. I hope y'all believe what I'm saying. Oh, uh, yes. Y'all, I just want to say this. Thank y'all. Oh, yes, Jesus. I read about Moses. He, 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 he chose to suffer the affliction of the people of God. Hallelujah. Then enjoy Brother Bank the place. The oh, place of the season. Thank you, Jesus. For a season. Oh, yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. He chose rather to, to, to suffer the affliction with the people Hallelujah. of God. Hallelujah. Then he enjoyed the pleasure of seeing for a season. Amen. Thank you, Lord. It's just for a season. Oh, yes, Lord. And it's going to end. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. What I appreciate today. I want to talk a little bit on that, but God, we just praise you. And then we just oh, mighty God. Probably wouldn't get in that mess of word. But thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Be with us, Jesus. God, be God to us. Oh, yes, Lord. Father, sustain your people. I, I, you said you said you chose the poor in this world, this world. Rich in faith. Yes, Lord. You got some people in the Bible, they was well to do. Most of your people, God, they were just 
common people. Father, in Jesus' name, I'm asking you, Lord, sustain your people. See them through these times. It's time they, they do without. See them through, Lord. God, you're going to reward, reward your people. Father, make me a solid Christian. Make me a Christian that believes in you, trust in you, that my eyes are not focused on nothing else, but focus upon you. I'm asking you, Lord, don't let me be a fictitious Christian. Don't let me be a swinging like Tarzan on a vine, but God, let me be anchored to you. Let me be down to earth, Lord. I'm asking you, mold us and make us Jesus. Let us be true vessels, true disciples of yours, Lord. In Jesus' name, and we do thank you for saving our loved ones. Bring them in. Give them that mind. In Jesus' name. Thank you. Give him a hand, praise me. I want you to be encouraged. Oh, thank you, Lord. Keep your brother and sister up in prayer. I appreciate those you fresh way out today. Look like we're gonna have them back for a while. We appreciate your fresh way on this way. Now I tell you, we're gonna meet the Lord. I tell you, folks. I'm telling folks that all the time we're gonna meet the Lord. There's gonna be a time when your job ain't gonna deliver you, your family can't deliver you, your friends can't deliver you, and nothing you got can deliver you. It's gonna come a time where you're gonna really need God Himself. And. Uh, Clean to him. Right, fresh away. There's going to be a time when you call and you want somebody that can answer you. Yes, that's going to be Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord. Thank you. 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 Thank in some kind of way, if folks just can get a hold, get a hold. We just talked to somebody yesterday, so they, they don't come to church long enough to get a hold. You, you can't come one or two times, and, and you're fighting the devil, so you have to, you have to come and stay in there, and then you fight the devil. So the devil will be fighting against you. There's a few times that you just can't get no strength. Do you know what we believe in God for the loved ones of the people together here?
Can we have that window here? Yeah. If you want to get that stuff out, please don't do it, man.